Good morning, class. Happy Tuesday. Uh, Ms. Harmon here. We're going to continue with our reading today about farmer's markets. First, we're going to go over our vocabulary words, and then we will read the first passage about farmer's markets. So remember, this first word right here is agriculture. And agriculture is farming. So anything that you can grow on a farm or any type of livestock that you can raise um, is all agriculture. Next is consumer. And all a consumer is somebody who buys goods or services. My example is I'm a consumer of Starbucks coffee because I love to drink coffee. The next one is farmer's market. Remember, a farmer's market is a market where farmers come to sell their fresh produce. Um, anything from eggs to milk to vegetables and fruit, um, fresh from their market. Our fourth vocabulary word is healthfully. Healthfully just means that we are doing something for health purposes. So eating things that are good for our body and help our body grow and become big and strong. And then our last word is produce. And produce are fruits and vegetables that are grown as food. So any type of vegetable or fruit you can think of is all produce. So my favorite produce is watermelon. All right, guys, go ahead and turn your page to the next page. And it should look just like Miss Harmon's does. Okay, we're on page 120. The title of our passage is Let It Grow. So first we're going to take a few minutes and I want you guys to look at the pictures and talk about with your parents, go ahead and pause the video, about the different things that you guys see in the pictures. So a couple things that Miss Harmon sees is this first one. It looks like a farmer's market to me. There's somebody who is selling their fresh produce from their farm to the consumer. Right here I notice a graph of some sort that says U.S. Farmer's Market. And then of the other pictures I notice more produce such as fruits and vegetables, and then over here, possibly you could be somebody working on a farm or working on the agriculture of their farm. And then right here, somebody selling something, again, at a farmer's market. And the last one down here, right, I see lots of fields. I see somebody holding a bucket of fruit. I see somebody down here with more fruit and more vegetables. And then a whole family here sitting around some fresh produce. There are lots of different colors of all the vegetables and the fruit and lots of different places it looks like that these um, pictures are from. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to point to picture one. Here's picture one. And we're going to read. I want you to follow along as Miss Harmon reads aloud. All right. A farmer's market is a local business. A farmer's market sells fresh fruit and vegetables. Okay, my friends. So again, remember, we're talking about a farmer's market. So it looks like this might be a picture of a farmer's market. And it sells fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. Okay, go ahead and point to picture two. Remember I said this looks like a bar graph. And a bar graph is just looking at different data and different types of things, okay? So this is the amount of farmer's markets in the U.S. So that's where we live here in the United States. All right, guys, so point to picture two. Follow along as I read aloud. In the last 10 years, the number of farmer's markets in the United States has doubled. Wow, so in the last 10 years, there are twice as many farmer's markets as there were 10 years ago, which is a good thing. That means that there are more farmer's markets in the U.S. Let's think about some different reasons that there might be more farmer's markets. One reason could be that people are really paying attention to the type of food that we put in our body and making sure we're making um, helpful choices so we can grow and do different things. All right, guys, go ahead and point to picture three. Again, in this picture, I see a little boy possibly with his mom and they're looking at the different fruits. I don't know if you guys ever help your parents pick out any fruits or vegetables at a farmer's market or grocery store. You want to make sure that they're not too squishy or too bruised because then they won't taste very good when you take them home. All right, guys, so go ahead and point to picture three and follow along as I read aloud. Many consumers are choosing to eat more healthfully. They are choosing to eat fresh greens, fruits, and vegetables. 
All right, guys, so here we have two more of our vocab words. We have consumers, which remember, these are the consumers because they're buying the fresh fruits and vegetables from farmers. And healthfully just, make, just means that they're eating foods that are good for your body and making healthful choices. Okay, let's go ahead and point to picture four. Now this kind of looks more like a grocery store to Miss Harmon. This is what a grocery store usually looks like when you go there and they have lots of different fruits and vegetables um, sectioned out um, by different variety and there's lots and lots and lots of choices. Okay guys, follow along as I read aloud. The sales of produce have tripled since the 1990s. The farmer's markets help meet this demand. Okay, so the sales of produce, remember produce just means fruits or vegetables, anything that can be grown. Um, and the sales of these produce of fruits and vegetables has tripled. That means it's three times as much since the 1990s. The 1990s was about 20, uh, 20 years ago. Um, well, that was the end of the 90s. So about between 20 and 30 years ago would be the 90s. And um, so that it's gotten three times more. So that means more and more and more people are buying more fresh produce as, such as fruit, fruits and vegetables. All right, guys, let's go up here to picture five. Up in this picture, I see more vegetables. I see some carrots, some purple potatoes, some white potatoes. <clears throat> Follow along as I read aloud. Many people are also choosing to buy things grown locally. So all that means is things that are grown locally are things that are grown near your house or near where you live. So there are lots of farmers nearby that come to local farmers markets like in Marietta where you can go and buy those local, that local produce, like fruits and vegetables. All right, guys, picture six. So in this picture, like I said, we saw some people that are possibly on a farm, possibly talking about the different um, agriculture that's there. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and read and see what these people are doing in this picture. <clears throat> they want to support local agriculture they buy local food to support local farmers. So remember, agriculture just means farming. So growing any pro growing any fruits and vegetables on a farm or raising any livestock like chickens or cows that produce um, eggs and milk. So it's really important for us to buy uh, produce from local farmers because they are farming in order to make money for their family. So, so they can buy their family food and different things and clothes and different things that their kids want. Um, so it's really important to support the local farmers nearby so they can continue to provide us with fresh fruits and vegetables um, right to our table. All right, guys, picture seven. When you shop at farmer's markets, there are many benefits. So a benefit is something that is good for you. So when you shop at farmer's markets, there are lots of good things that could be for you. So it can support local farmers. You can make healthful, healthfully choices um, and fueling our body with things that help us grow and be healthy and um, so we can run fast and so we can play games and do different things. So there's lots of good reasons why um, we should go to farmer's markets to buy our produce. All right, guys, last picture, picture eight. You help U.S. agriculture. You help your community. You help farmers and you help yourself. So my friends, this article is just talking about the good things about shopping at a farmer's market. So I want you to think about some different reasons why it's good to shop at a farmer's market. We talked about um, buying from local farmers so they can provide for their family. We talked about making healthy choices for our body so it can go big and strong and do all the things that we want it to do. And I want you guys to think of some different reasons why it's important and why it's good to shop at a farmer's market. Miss Harmon lets you know that I think the fruits and vegetables taste much fresher from a farmer's market than they do from a grocery store. So go ahead and take a minute. I want you guys to highlight all of your vocabulary words. Okay, and make sure that you know what each vocabulary word means. After you're done highlighting, we're going to talk about 
why we think there are more farmers markets than there were before. So you guys can just write here in the corner or just talk about it with your parents and talk about why do you think there are more farmers markets now than there were before? Go ahead and pause the video and talk about it with your parents. Either tell them why you think there are more farmers markets or go ahead and write it down yourself. And then go ahead and unpause the video and Ms. Harmon will talk about why there are more farmers markets. All right, guys, thank you for writing down your ideas. So the reason there are more farmers market is because in our society, we have become more aware why it's so important to make healthy choices for our body. Ms. Harmon already kind of talked about, it's so important to give our body nutrients that fr fruits and vegetables have. And when you go to a farmer's market, you have lots of options for buying different types of fruits and vegetables. It's important to help our body grow and to stay healthy and active. And these fruits and vegetables really do that for our body. There's other foods that we enjoy to eat, which it's okay to eat sometimes, but these foods don't really help us grow, don't really help us be healthy and be able to run fast and, you know, go outside and do these different things and different exercise. I'm sure your parents are always telling you that you need to eat your vegetables at dinner and they're right because these types of food really help our body grow. All right, guys, um, that is all for today. So we will come back tomorrow and read the next text. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. All right, guys, see you later.